it's one thing to be motivated. It's a whole other thing to be disciplined. That's where I have failed miserably in my life and, and at different times in different areas, phys- fitness being one of them. I could stand to drop about 25 right now, and I've, I could stand to have dropped 25 uh, 15 years ago. So this is not a brand new thing. Well, you know what your problem is? Tell me. You're focusing on what you don't want. Ah. Yeah, you don't want to be fat. You don't hey. want to be out of shape. You don't want to look like a slob. And so your motivation is to not do those things. So now it's a chore to go work out. You're, you're, you're relieving the stress because when you look in the mirror and you see you're overweight, when you look in the mirror and you don't want to be that way, that creates stress. Now when you go work out, it's a stress reliever. So you're going from zero emotionally. You look in the mirror, you've now have a negative emotional experience. Uh, and so you go to the gym to relieve the negativity. So you move from zero to negative and then back to zero. And there's zero motivational about that. The, the motivation is to not be fat. So when you're not fat, there's no reward. Uh-huh. So if you fundamental number four, for those of you who have the book at home, if you think for a minute, <laughs> if you don't want to be fat, well, what do you want? Sure. Do you want to be a Greek Adonis? You want to have the bodybuilder you know, image of the rock? Or do you want to be in good health? Or do you want to be in good shape? Do you want to have good cardiovascular you know, stamina? And, and if you want those things, th- then that becomes your dream. That becomes the vision. That becomes the, the positive future out there for you that now attracts you in that direction. And if I see myself... Um, in, in good physical shape, and, and that's something I want. Now, motivation rises up to move from this point in my life to that point in my life. 